This is the great statue quarry Ranu Raraku, the birthplace of the Moai. They are made out of a volcanic ash. This is the only place on the island this ash exists. Why it's important is because this ash can be cut out in huge slabs so that you can make statues that are enormous here. No other rock on Easter Island allows this to happen. It is 10 feet wide at the base. That's a little over three meters. Its shoulders are 12 feet across, about four meters or so. And its total length is around eight meters. That's 24 feet. Its calculated weight is around 65 tons. So that obviously means there's a question here. How do you move something this big seven kilometers from the quarry? That's four and a half miles. In a corner of the quarry, hidden from easy view, hides a secret moai, rarely seen by outsiders. This is the most extreme example of Rapa Nui carving ever attempted. The locals call it Te Tokanga, which translates to the giant, and standing six stories high, this Moai truly would have been a giant. This is the largest statue ever carved in the quarry at Ranawaraku. It is somewhere on the order of 66 feet long, that's slightly over 20 meters, and it's a little more than 12 feet wide, that's slightly more than 4 meters. And if we calculate out the weight, it looks like it would weigh 400 tons. They had every intention of moving this statue out of the quarry once they finished it. What's interesting is, one, they didn't finish it. And number two, had they finished it and moved it, they would have the global record for having moved a piece of stone for a culture without metal tools. There have been three different experiments to try and move a moai, a replica, along any surface at all. The first was Pavel Pavel, who moved a, an eight-ton statue by rocking it from side to side, refrigerator-style method, and moving it forward. His experiment on the island moved a nine-ton statue about four meters, that's about 12 feet or so, forward. And it took him all day and a lot of coordinative effort. My students and I used another method. Moving a statue vertically, we put them on two long logs, rabbited him in, and then moved the whole contraption on rollers. It took 25 people and one rope to move this nine-ton statue 132 feet. That's roughly 40 meters. We did it in two minutes. Joanne Van Tilburg tried a third method. Having a statue prone, placed on a wooden sledge, she skidded it along with ropes and a few pry bars using 65 people to move it about 100 feet. And then, in 2000, I discovered something that would put all of these methods in doubt.